Okay, this somebody that I'm going to be listening to while I make my turkey, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is not going to be any good, is Harry Styles. And he's making some, some hair-raising headlines because he got a cut. He didn't just get a cut. He did a, he got a real tight cut. There is Mr. Harry Styles. His luscious locks are no more. By the way, I don't mind. Very handsome. I don't mind it. I would take it either way. Either way. Either way. Either way. And it shows you, he, he, first of all, he is a lovely human being. He's like one of the nicest and also most down to earth yeah. grounded people I think we've met. Yes. It's cool. Yeah. But it shows you that hair matters. But it doesn't matter that much. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, no. Well, I think if you look like Harry Styles, it doesn't really well, matter. Exactly. But I mean, if I buzzed so... my head, it would be a different story. <laughs> I'm not quite. No, Gavin. Did you just hear Gavin yell, do it? Gavin. She's not oh. doing it. Gavin, Go I'm not going to buzz it. All right. But he's not the only male celeb who okay. had a buzz cut. Who so else? Lenny Kravitz Ooh. went from long to short. Lenny Kravitz, again, equal. Equal, just like Handsome Harry. Handsome man, so it don't matter. Sometimes when you're that good looking. And critical is the shape of the head. It's true. <laughs> because we actually don't know what our head shape is, you and I. Well, we know they're large. We know they're large, but we don't know, does it have a top? Is it like pointy? Is it flat? Is it, I have no idea. I think mine is sort of square. You do? Okay. But who knows? And we're never really going to find out because we ain't shaming. We aren't. All no, right, so ain't. how about one of our favorite Chris's, Chris Evans? Oh. Let's see. Okay, either way. Either way. <laughs> Either way, either way. Chris Evans is very handsome. He's my favorite Chris. I know you like him a lot. Who's yours? Chris Pratt. Because of Maria. Okay, have you ever done a huge chop? I did once and it wasn't my own doing. I was young and, they, and the hair person, the, the hair stylist dresser, thought that my hair was kinky because it was damaged when mm. really it was just the way it grew. And so he thought that it would be a good idea if we just started a fresh. <laughs> So how fresh was it? It was real fresh. Were you kind of, you know what's hard when you're that age is I'm sure you were trying to a say. Boy. Then it was like, he's a, now you're, you're a boy. Because my name was not really recognizable as either gender. Well, I wasn't and going then, to say that. And then to have the haircut and the joker was not a help. I wore a joker, <laughs> not for that purpose, but you I did. wore it. And at that point. A lot of people wore chokers. Yeah, totally. So it wasn't. But the point is, I'm sure you were trying to express to him in your own 13, 14 year old way that that's just the way your hair grew, but he ignored you. And I also think I didn't say it very loudly. No. I'm sure I screamed it in my brain. Yes. And, it, and but on the outside, I was like, he's a grown up. He knows. You got to really kind of say your thing. How are we going to teach our girls yes, to be to polite, say, but also brave. stand up for themselves? Yes. You don't want doormats. No. But you also don't want want rude kids. No. I, it's such a fine yes. line. You want them to stand up to grown-ups, but also in a and speak line. their truth. Yes.